Hey fair mums, it's Sarah aka Frank's mum. I just thought I would give you a couple of my top tips for washing dog bedding and how to keep your washing machine fur free so it doesn't transfer onto clothes. If like me you only have washing, one washing machine. So this is probably my other half's pet peeve is washing uh, dog bedding and um, he always worries that I'm gonna get like dog hair that remains within the washing machine and that it's going to transfer over into onto his clothes. So I'm just going to show you quickly like what we do and some of these top tips were shared with me from Jenny's mum Donna on how to keep your washing machine fur free. Okay first things first I have used Frankie Jane's recommended pet bed wash. Pet bed wash um, is much better than using personal or aerial for a number of reasons. You're not going to get any allergies because actually you shouldn't really be using um, traditional washing powders with your dogs. It doesn't really get the dirt out, it doesn't make them clean. If there's any soiling or you know, messy bums, um, it won't really get rid of any of that or any of the bacteria and it's suitable from puppies. Right, as you can see, my washing machine has just finished its cycle and you can see all of that fur in here. And I'm gonna show you very quick. So how I get rid of all of the fur and make sure so how I get rid of all the fur and make sure that my washing machine doesn't leave any nasty fur behind is as follows. So literally, I'm just going to open this up quickly. You can see all of that fur in there, which is not very nice. I just use a couple of really simple, cheap tips to get rid of it. So obviously, we've got um, I've got some kitchen towel here. I'm just going to grab some of that fur off. Initially, you can see all the fur come off. It's lovely bedding, which in our house is Nikki's Nesty. So get off any of the fur. I'm going to give that a good hoover again in a minute. Okay, right, let's get the bedding out. As you can see, there's not too much hair on that, which I'm pleased about. Okay, right, and we've got the washing machine drum. This is so, so simple. All you need to keep your washing machine fur free after having washed your dog's bedding with the recommended Frank and Jelly's uh, pet bed wash is vinegar, kitchen towel, and these really cheap soda crystals. So what we're gonna do is just get some kitchen towel. I mean, I just use chip shop vinegar, to be honest with you. It doesn't need to be expensive. Okay, we're just gonna douse that in vinegar. Okay. So you're gonna get your vinegar, and you are gonna clean down all of these sides. That's gonna get all of that hair off. Can you see that hair now? It's coming from the rubber lining and it's just coming straight off, okay? So you're gonna give that a really, really good clean. You also wanna clean inside your drum and on your glass. As you can see there, we've got some fur here again. A shortened version for you, because I know you're all very busy fur mums. So get that again. Right, down you gonna the, the hair sticks directly and gets all of that, look at that. It's all coming off straight away. Really cheap, really easy to do. And then all we're gonna do is get these soda crystals. You can get them in Poundland or supermarket, etc. Put these soda crystals into, let's look at the guiding strength. Okay, so we want strong, regular or mild. Obviously with dog hair, we want it to be nice and clean so it doesn't affect our family's clothes. I literally just, here we go. This is obviously after having cleaned the drum. Look, there's more hair there that's come off with the vinegar. Close the door. And I'm now going to do strong wash, high temperature, and give that a really good clean. So that's our top tips for how to keep your washing machine fur free for all of you fur mums so it doesn't affect your children's or your husband's clothes. Just to recap, all you need is vinegar, chip shop vinegar will do, kitchen towel, and some soda crystals. So you wanna clean all inside, all inside your rubber, and then uh, inside your drum, it won't affect your washing machine. Then put the set of crystals in, put it on a high heat, and then what we'll do after that is we'll just give it another quick wipe with the vinegar, and um, 
it will get rid of any lasting hairs and then if you've got to do another load with the children's washing or hubby's washing you don't have to worry about it getting on any of his work clothes if you like this video and you found it helpful can we just get a quick thumbs up see if it's added any value and i'm going to now get on with uh, doing my floors we'll get the odor kill out and give the whole place a nice scrub i hope you have a fantastic saturday and i'll speak to you soon take care bye